Hi everyone, this is Janet and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. I'm trying a new technique, but it's one that's been around for the last couple of weeks. Several other artists have tried it. I've watched their videos and was just really excited for myself and wanting to give it a try. So, um, of course, I searched the house high and low and I didn't have any marbles but my husband luckily found a golf ball and a super ball so that's what I've got sitting off on the side of the table and I ultimately end up using the golf ball for this particular piece and my gosh it was so much fun it was also fun because my husband was joining me in the studio as I created this piece because he was excited to see how it actually worked so um and whether or not i could keep the ball on the canvas or not <laughs> during the entire <laughs> duration so we had a lot of fun though together and and that was what's really important um my paints and my ratios and pouring pouring mediums are listed in the box down below um so if you want to check that out go ahead and take a peek at that um, I wasn't really sure on what consistency I really needed uh, to pull this off so I just kind of went with my gut instinct and so my consistencies on both the base paint and my puddle pours are like that warm honey uh, consistency where the paint you know falls off the popsicle stick and leaves just a slight mound before it disappears so I figured that was a safe place to start. And this is actually my first test run, but I think it turned out so incredibly awesome. So at the end of the video, you are going to see um, a close up. I'll take you in for a close up um, on how it turned out. I am so excited about this and had so much fun creating it. Um, so my biggest inspiration for all of this, I think, came from Massey Art Studios with Jeremy and Lee. Um, I watched their video on, you know, does the size of your balls really matter? And I just giggled my way through watching that. They were just superb in, in what they did. And so that was a big inspiration. Another inspiration for me on this piece was uh, Mina uh, from Mina Villegas Art. And um, I think I she used the golf ball so that kind of you know when my husband discovered the golf ball <laughs> kind of was like well if Mina could do it I can do it so um, and another uh, thank you to uh, B.R. Turner who actually rediscovered this technique and brought it back to life and has everybody jumping on board and giving it their best shot and finally to Carol and Carol's art room uh, because I think she helped me to concentrate ahead of time before attempting this on, you know, what consistency I needed um, for it to, to actually work. And I think I saw her first attempt where her, her consistency was a little bit too thick. But she still succeeded and she made a beautiful piece. So thank you to those guys, all of you. You're such inspirations to me. Um, I can't, I can't thank them all enough. So, but another great thank you is to my subscribers for all of you guys who tune in and, and watch my videos and support me. And a, I'm just overwhelmed um, that I have that kind of support. So, oh look, here I go <laughs> with the golf ball. I can't, I can't tell you, this was so cool. This was just incredibly cool. So I'm gonna stop talking now and let you guys watch the magic happen. And for those that have subscribed, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Uh, give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate that as well. And until next time, stay safe guys and blessings to you all.